Welcome, welcome back on C-Square. In this video, we're going to do a short discovery, or a long discovery, on a parabola as a conic, right? We know that uh, y equals x squared, for example, is a parabola, but now we're going to see something else. Okay, for that reason, I'm going to need you to open GeoGebra.org, and you see the uh, address here. You see the address right here, and then we're gonna use this uh, graphing calculator, and we're gonna get a page like this. And um, uh, let's uh, first of all see what we're gonna do in this uh, discovery. You remember this definition of a parabola as a conic, which says each point of a parabola is a key distant from a point called focus and a line called directness. Okay, so you see here. A couple uh, very important words, I mean three important words, equidistance, the same distance, uh, focus, which is a point, we will see that, and then a line that we call a directrix, you will see that also. So first thing I would like you to do is to type in this equation right here, use the keyboard if you need it, and you should get a parabola that probably you have seen in your life so far, okay? And uh, then I need you to type in this equation in the second row. You click enter and you're going to get the second row. And you're going to get this line. Eh? This line is called the directrix. Remember, we talk about this vocabulary. This is a line that, you know, it's uh, a little bit further than the uh, parabola. And then I'm going to need you to click on this icon right there, right, which is called geometry. So we're going to use the geometry uh, app of the uh, GeoGebra, where you see a lot of uh, tools. And uh, first of all, I want you to take a look at this basic tool, the point. You select it. You get some information what to do with that uh, tool which is nothing else than plot a point. And I said plot a point 0 and 1. You grab that point A and how is call it in the basic tool and plot it at 0 and 1. And ladies and gentlemen, now we have the focus how is called. Okay? So, um, we have the focus, we have the directrix. And we're going to have a first point and this parabola that we're going to check if it's equidistant from the focus and the directrix. And the first point I would like you to do is to take in this case 0 and 0, which is a simple one right there, right? 0 and 0. Is this point equidistant from uh, the focus, which is point A and the directrix, which is the blue line? And by the way, that if you remember, we follow vertex a while ago. Okay? For that reason, I plot another point. You don't really have to do that. Uh, I plot the, the point that is on uh, the blue line, 0 and negative 1. And now you can see that this point B is in the middle. It's equidistant from uh, A and C. It's equidistant from A and C. Why? Because we have two segments. AB is one unit and BC is one unit. Okay, so this is the first point that we can check. And we notice, we notice that it's equidistant from uh, the focus A and the direct is the blue line. Okay, and now I'm going to need you to plot another point, which I call it 2 and 1. And you see it here. Is this point equidistant now from uh, that focus A and the blue line, the direct is? Okay, and obviously you can see it here. This point B is 3 minutes away minutes away from the directrix and the focus. Easy to see it in this case. Now I've said another point, 4 and 4. And the same story, we notice that this point F is equidistant. Equidistant, the same distance from focus 5 units and from the directrix 5 units. Okay? 
And then I said here, pick any point on the parabola, okay? You pick any point you want on the parabola and we'll check it if that point on the parabola is equidistant from the focus and the directives. So what I did, I picked this point H. Oh, like I said, you can pick any other point. And the first task is not, that's the question we ask ourselves, is point H equidistant from focus and the directives? The first task is not super complicated. Okay, I want you to connect A and H, right? You have a tool, which is a segment down here. Scroll down. Okay, it's, it's this one. You connect and you get a segment. And also, you can measure with this tool here, which I did it. And I get this three point and so on. Okay, so... Uh, the segment AH is 3.822 units, for example, right? And the question is now, how far away is this point H from the directives? And you see, if you try to draw that line on the GeoGebra, it's not going to be simple. It's not going to be simple. And I said here, we need to draw a perpendicular line from H to the blue line, eh? For that reason, we have this construction menu here. Grab that. And they said here, perpendicular line, select the point on the perpendicular line. So you're going to select the point H. And then the line. And you should get something like this. Okay. Now that's uh, this line is perpendicular on this line. Okay. And now we are sure we have, uh, we use this uh, App and we get uh, an accurate segment. What segment do we get? We get this segment, H and this guy here. So again, grab a point and plot the point. Okay, so uh, you're going to have now a segment, a very well defined segment because you have two endpoints, H and I, right? So we can measure again with this tool. And let's see what we get. Oh, almost exact the same measure. I will say it's not a big difference. Don't forget, uh, hard sometimes to be so accurate. I will say we are very accurate in this case. I mean, as you notice, this point H is equidistant from the focus and the directives. Okay. And of course, you can pick more points if you want to see that. Okay. And I'll say here on the slide that it's not bad. It's not bad. Look into these numbers. Uh, we can do a similar approach for another wonderful parabola, right? Usually we are uh, um, looking to the parabola like uh, open up or open down. And you can have a open to the right parabola, like this one. X equals 1 over 4 y squared. And the same idea, you can do this discovery and you notice the same situation. All those points... A, B, C, D, and E, all those points are equidistant from the focus A and the directories, the blue line. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button down right and come back on C-square for more math video clip. Thank you.